Dante's Divine Comedy, Inferno, Canto the 11th. There was a big field that they were crossing with these open caskets, like tombs laying in the ground. I remember him meeting some people that he knew from his hometown, and I just remember them passing through. They reach a point where there's this terrible stench. It's so overpowering that they come back, they hide behind a little wall. They're gonna wait until they become used to the smell. And so Virgil decides that he'll tell him what the next three circles are going to be. They are currently in circle number six. They have three more circles to go, circles seven, eight, and nine. He says that these final three layers are all wrapped up in the desire to hurt other people, either through fraud or violence. So the next circle, circle number seven, is going to be where the violent are. There are three layers because there are three kinds of violence. Violence against God, violence against the self, and violence against others. And by violence against others, that could be hurting people physically. It could also be stealing their stuff. It could be, he says harassment, and I like to think in modern English you'd say trolling. <laughs> um, arson, extortion, all of these are violence against other people. Where does digital piracy and torrenting go on the structure? Um, that depends on whether or not you believe piracy hurts anyone. <laughs> If, if, I would say if, that's one of the lesser, right, if anything. If you hold right, that anything. digital piracy is a victimless crime. <laughs> no, I don't know where Dante would put digital pirates. <laughs> what about real pirates? I probably, guess it depends on what they did, Probably right? violence, violence against, against others. Violence against others, yeah, Definitely yeah. probably violence <laughs> against others. Next are the people who do violence against the self. These are people who harm themselves through abusing their own bodies. Um, Drugs and alcohol. Yeah, drug addictions, alcohol addictions. I, I think you'd probably put the modern overindulgence into, like, obesity here as well, the people who physically harm their bodies, but suicides also go here. Being a scene kid, why would you do that to your body? Yeah, any, anything that just... Dressing in Gucci, I mean, yeah, yeah, anything yeah, like yeah. that, really. The third section of Seventh Layer will be people who committed violence against God, people who blaspheme and refuse him. I'm not quite sure totally how to translate that one real well. I wonder if uh, violence against God is kind of a Caligula situation. You remember Caligula, how he tried to go to war with Poseidon, the sea god? He just went and took all his men and tried to stab the ocean and they thought he was crazy but he was so crazy that they were afraid of him so they just went out on ships and stabbed the water that is a wild story <laughs> <laughs> One thing he mentions when he's talking about violence against God is he mentions Sodom and Cahors. Sodom especially was identified with unnatural sex practices. Cahors was a city in southern France and was notorious in the Middle Ages for its usurers. A usurer is archaic English and it means a person who lends money at an unreasonably high rate of interest. Oh, wow. So it's a specific kind of economic sin. Apparently, these kinds of people, violence against God... I feel like there's specific special spots for people who pour their milk in before their cereal and people who make their mamas cry. Milk before cereal, they definitely go in the round three of Circle 7. <laughs> Violence against God, art, and nature. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Circles 8 and 9 are both going to be for fraud. There are two kinds of fraud. You can be deceitful to people who trust you, but you can also deceive people who have no good reason to trust you. So it is at the very center of hell where these people lie, and he calls them the traitors. Judas Iscariot would be there then. Judas is here, wow. yes. Biggest traitor in history. And of course, Satan, whose name means oh, yes. the deceiver. The deceiver, yeah. yeah. Dante says, why are there so many people outside of this if they're being punished by God? So he explains that there are three sins of the soul, that of lack of self-restraint, malice, and acting like a beast. And that it is that lack of self-restraint that God hates the least. But at this point, they have become used enough to the stench to continue onwards, and so they do. And that is the end of Canto the Eleventh.